so I just had um, it's it's just in the morning here 1030 about and I just got a phone call like I never had in my whole life um, and remember I said in a in an earlier video that even though I am alone 99% of the time and I, I spend my time with myself the triggers still come you know it's it's uh, interesting how how uh, life finds ways and there's there's many ways to to uh, get have the charge triggered and so this has never happened before in my whole life 1030 the phone rings I can't see the number but it doesn't matter I always pick up because I have never gotten a scam phone call or a phone call from someone I um, you know maybe maybe these these uh, um, uh, twice that that they want to a survey yeah but they're always very friendly and you can say no thank you and take me off the list and in all these years five years um, six years that I've been living here two two of those right so anyways I pick up and it's um it's an Indian man from India and in a room of shouting people so loud so loud and he says um, uh, I'm calling my something Microsoft I could hear and I'm calling you about your computer I don't have I have an Apple um, so I already knew this is weird and and then I said and I would have you know actually just hung up normally but um, because I would have already known this is uh, you know this is not this is weird but I was curious like why is he calling and in Germany you know speaking English you can't just call into a country where English is not the language and just talk English that's that's not normal either so I asked uh, I say I say to him because I actually I just wanted to know where do you get my number from and why the hell is he calling me uh, to me way too early anyways but that's another that's that's me personally but why is he calling me and um, but I couldn't I, I with with this noise there was no way I, I could have a conversation so I said um, you know I can't hear you there's like it's way too noisy around you and then he um, he, all he did was, I guess, held the microphone closer to his mouth and said, can you hear me now? And I said, no, there's still all this noise around you. And he, and he said it one more time. And I said, sorry, there is too much noise around you. And then he said, um, so then go fuck yourself and hung up. And that definitely triggered <laughs> triggered a, a, an emotional and a nervous system response. You know, I just got up. Everything's always like I, the like the first hours. I don't I don't talk. It's like totally quiet. I'm not even here yet. It always takes me a while to actually get here. And. I just had a man from India tell me to go fuck myself. <laughs> <clears throat> Nervous system triggered, Ooh, you know. And um, so immediately, I, I um, focused on that feeling, uh, on the sensation and the physical sensation that um, that was triggered. And I just asked, well, you know, what, what was this about? And I actually wanted to go in now and, um, and ask again. So shall we do that? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. And as I'm doing that, it will also help to, um, to reverse the charge because charge is a reversed it's a reversed energy yeah it's a compressed reversed downward spin um, death spin energy or at least if it's not death spin energy it's um, frozen so it's in in the compression and, and that's why it's a charge 
and uh, actually the first thing I got when I when I was wondering this was um, yeah the first thing I got was there's a lot of stress and there are a lot of people in stress and suffering and you know and and that those plugged into um, that have a lot of percentage within them to in that are, that is plugged in unconscious that's always it only works over the unconscious and to the reverse matrix system that is dying now it is already you know it's it's um it, it's 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 not going to be saved, you know. It's dying. It and um, the thing is that Franco, <clears throat> De Nicola. I just heard that again uh, yesterday when he said. In the rerun, in a rerun, um, when he said that, and th and he said this when he, when he said this, this is like at least a year ago if not more, um, that all the structures and the factors, the energetic factors that, will, that were holding the reverse, the inverted made a matrix 3D, inverted 3D in place to be, you know, the siphoning off of the energy. That's, that's the inverted and everything is upside down. Everything is um, you know, wrong is right and right is wrong and all of the, all of this. Um, he said everything that held that energetically in place is gone. And now the way that it is held in place still is only within our own the fractal of that inverted matrix within our mind and that's the that's the um, 3D inverted, that implant, that egoic mind, that separation mind, but the separation where it is believed in and where, where all of that conditioning from the inverted matrix has been stored and has been conditioned where, where our identity has been, is interwoven with that structure. And it is, so it is only held in the mind of humans still and I got that that is now a dying beast. I mean, I've known that before too, but now it's like, whoa, okay, you got a little taste of that. You got a little taste of that dying beast. It knocked on your door, shouting at you to go, you know what? And <laughs> and um, to get a little bit more of charge out of that because that's what, that's the whoosh, you know, that's what that, um, if, okay, that's what that beast is, is keeping itself alive with, is with that whoosh, and that's when the charge is not received consciously, when, and that is when it is not felt, and when you're not open to it and say thank you for bringing this up because this charge, that, what I'm feeling right now, and as I'm saying this, I want to make sure that I'm saying it to myself and I'm not saying it to anybody else, but I do want to share this. So, <clears throat> because that's the, that's the medicine and that's why I share it because it's medicine as you hear it. Mm. Okay. So this is all energy. And I can still feel the after waves of that of that trigger. Yes, so the louche is if I would have now gone, you know, um, received and experienced this as a victim and seen myself <clears throat> as a victim, and then what also happens is 
the mind will repeat and repeat and repeat that um, kind of shocking event or that trigger event that just happened. And it will squeeze thereby more and more and more of that charge, but it's not going to release the charge. It's not going to, and that release of the charge is, because charge is compressed, is to give that charge now that it is, has been um, triggered, to give that charge space. So it can discharge, in a sense, um, release the charge from the tight, go into space, and then it can transform. And it's not charge anymore, negative, negative charge. And no, not charge anymore, but now it's it can flow. It's energy that can flow, and it comes into neutral. So that's the transformation. That's the healing. If I don't do that, if I repeat and see myself as a victim and get upset, and say, oh, this is terrible. By the way, Microsoft. <laughs> and I now, and I also, I, I remembered how, how does Microsoft has, have my phone number in, in, in India? And, um, I, and I made the connection that a couple of, several years ago when Skype, when I was still using Skype, and I had credit on Skype, and then um, Skype was sold to Microsoft, and it didn't work anymore. And I wanted to use, be able to uh, use it um, because I still had credit. And then I had to call when the number was, there was still a number um, for, because there used to be um, customer service for Skype. And there was only for a short period, uh, like a bridge time, there was still customer service after that takeover. And that I talked with a man in India. And that was Microsoft. He worked for Microsoft, so that's the only way I can I can make sense of how they have my number. Um, of course, I haven't been. It, he couldn't fix it, and I haven't used Skype since. Um, so, anyways, that's you know just to clear up the mystery of how <laughs> how it can be. But you know, I would not have been like so surprised if. I couldn't have figured it out and if it were, would remain a mystery because in the end it's all an energy. It's um, that charge, this is very important to, to realize and to be able to come into this, meet this with divine neutrality and thereby heal it and thereby discharge the charge that has been uh, lingering within me because what what I felt, even though it seems like I received that what you know because I could feel him and it seems like he just unloaded a whole bunch of negative energy on me really ugly negative energy on me right but um, and then now it's in me and I'm holding this and I and I'm getting angry that I you know that someone just dumped a bunch of trash on me but um, it's not like that if you if I see it like that then I'm remaining in, in a, a prisoner. I'm remaining a prisoner in that loop of being a victim. What actually happened is that there is, there was that charge already within me lingering and um, un, inactive, inactive. Yeah, see that is the truth. Oh, it feels so good when you speak the truth. It's in, it's, it comes into harmony. There's a hum there. There's a silence there. It's like it starts to, it starts to just fall into that alignment, into that neutrality, into silence. When you're speaking, when you, because when I speak this, I'm speaking this because I'm getting it. That this is how, that this is what is aligned. This is the truth. That's the true perspective. So that was the inverted perspective. Now we are mature enough to come into the true perspective. And the amazing thing is, okay, we'll get to that in a moment. Oh, I don't even have my... Okay, I have to speak a little bit louder because I forgot to, to put on the microphone. Okay. Um, I'm going to move closer then. Um... I can allow myself to feel it. Yes, so if I would have 
stayed in the victim mode, then what happens is the charge grows. And it is this charge held in place when it is activated that, and so, so the, the trigger comes. And if I see myself as the victim and I go into a reaction instead of in the, into the truth and meet it from the truth, which is divine neutrality. And we come into the divine neutrality when we can understand the truth. Well, the understanding is more like a bridge that helps you find your way into this, into that stance, into that perspective of divine neutrality, of your truth. You know, um, it is the perspective of the soul, of your soul. And if I don't find that bridge, and if I stay in victim mode, then the charge grows. And that expansion of charge is what feeds the beast that is still, you know, that is, that is fighting to stay alive in that sense, you know, that is dying. And that is only being charged, powered by our soul power, but in the reverse seeing itself as a false identity, as the victim, and feeling then as the victim, and feeling these hurt feelings, and it is this hurt feeling that only, uh, only those feelings, the reverse, the negative, the bad feelings, can feed that shadow, can feed that beast that is hurting, that doesn't know who it is, and that is angry. And that hates everybody else. That hates everything. Hates life. Yeah. And it feels good to know the truth. Because instantly that's the medicine. That's the medicine. So when we can see it from the truth. And we can then really allow ourselves to feel that triggered what was triggered then we can come into and bring this whole thing it's like it's like we bring it back home we move bring it back home to the heart and that is because we can come into the inner standing into the perspective of gratitude because this incident very comfortably in the space of my own home. <laughs> um, allowed me to receive some uh, latent charge that was still within me. And of course the mind, it goes on instantly, the mind will go on and spin. Oh, now they have my number. What if they call again? What if now every morning I'm going to be afraid that I'm going to be woken up even by a call like this? So the mind is going to, and that, you know, that's the part of the mind that is in fear, that is in that anxiety, that actually has a, a, a resonance with that energy that was happening in that room. which is an energy of survival. That was a very, very strong energy of just survival. And when you're in that mode, um, very zeroed in on, you know, I just have to do this. Otherwise I won't survive. So compassion doesn't have a lot of space there. Yeah. <sighs> okay. So I come into gratitude, and it's not gratitude personal to that person. Actually, that person has just played a role. It isn't about that person at all. I come into gratitude simply for having received a mini workshop for free in which I was able to um, get triggered, get my charge triggered, and receive it immediately. And that way, I always see it as an iceberg that I was able to melt it down some more. And with that, the charge gets less. And so next time it happens, it may not feel like it gets less, you know, but 
after some time, and of course, charge is not is not charge, you know. I mean, um, it all has these different codes and flavors of um, of stories behind it. Of okay, so what's the flavor of this charge? What's the flavor of this charge? You know. So every flavor, you know, all in the rainbows of, of colors, all the shades of charge that are latent within you, wherever you have, you're holding it, wherever we are, hold, I'm going to say we now, because it's important that I really get this, that this is really my truth speaking to me, but it's also, of course, in general, you know, this applies to everyone. Yeah, the whole the whole spectrum of charge that is within, uh, yeah, where we have um, experienced. It's like always a first time, right? It's like a first a first time where we have experienced this exact emotion, where we felt hurt, where we were hurt, and we didn't have the wherewithal, we didn't have the consciousness at the time, and the the understanding, the inner standing, yeah, the consciousness to instantly turn it around. I mean, that's that's the journey to come to this place, to receive, to remember, yeah, and then through that to expand in our being, in our awareness, in our consciousness, and in our heart in our heart structure capacity for sure for sure you know and i was i also um what came up was i read i read this post the other day um to when someone just two days ago or yesterday i don't know but uh when someone kind of it was it was about it was kind of like this when someone throws you uh, negative energy just like I got um, don't try and process it process it yourself or something like that give it to mother earth or no 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 it wasn't like that it was don't throw back at them that's that's clear why because if you throw it back it's just it gonna keep the ball rolling and that that would be the feeding the beast and that would be the um, growing of the charge uh, don't throw the ball back or don't throw the energy back give it to mother earth because she can handle it she transmutes it you know like nothing so I tried I, I when I remembered that I was envisioning that and then I realized and then what came up was like it's yours it's your gift it's your gift. This is still within the I don't want this. But it's me, you see, what is what is being triggered, that's just energy that was that was a charge latent within me. And how this um, comes about is that uh, at some point, the first time in life, when exactly this emotion was imprinted, when this conditioning was imprinted, when we were hurt, in this way, when we felt like this, when someone threw that energy at us. And it has a very particular flavor and we have, we feel a, a victim, but you know, that has so, also so many flavors of, of okay, um, what, what, what's that gonna, what kind of a belief is that going to now form within me now that I've received this from the outside toward me, you know? and because it's not coming from the heart structure, it's coming from a closed heart, it's coming from a false self, it's coming from that false identity, and it's coming from a reverse, an, an inverted self that is mean to others, that is being um, purposefully hurtful to others. And that will only come from a mind uh, or from a heart that experience that itself as i said before in my videos this uh i can't you know i'm i'm unconscious 
I'm just passing it on. I'm just passing the hurt on because that's all I know is record and passing it on and broadcast, record, broadcast, all through the egoic mind, and inverted egoic mind, and uh, uncon completely unconscious. It's like a machine. And that only works where there is no knowing of self, where there is no connection in the heart with self, because the, in, through the heart structure, this could never flow. This, this would never fit through the heart structure. This can only fit through the heart structure when there is what I'm doing now or where I'm at now, uh, when there is this knowing that this is not who I am. And then the, the compassion is also that's not who they are. They just don't know it. You know, they're just passing on an energy. And then on top of it, what comes uh, as an um, to is the is the understanding how this uh, you know why is this happening to me now you know why because because instantly there's that there's that thought um, of taking it personal. What did I do to deserve this? When when did I ever give that energy to to someone else? You know. And this is, um, that's not helpful. That's not, I mean, this is what I'm, what, what I'm getting at least because I don't remember. I, I don't know that that's not what I know. Okay. This is what I know is that that's not what this was about. There may be that too as a wake up call as a like, okay, now you know what it feels like. And then you will, when you're open to it, when you, when you know this, because you, you want to um, heal, you want to dissolve these negative energies, you want to come back into divine neutrality and feel that and not be affected, because that's the way you're not affected. Not by giving it away. You can't give away what's yours. You can only receive what's yours. And then, it, then what you want to give away, that uh, unpleasant feeling, that negative feeling, dissolves. It dissolves into neutrality and into peace and it feels good and then you got that aspect that energy of yourself of your soul a fragment of a fragment of your soul back that was that was holding on from that first time you got hurt and it didn't understand well, okay what just happened why well, how did I deserve this is you know this energy is wrong this energy is, is false it can't fit through the heart can't open my heart to it because it hurts and so it stays there and that's the charge and it stays there until it gets triggered and throughout life it'll get triggered or has been because that's we were living in the inverted matrix so it has been triggered and triggered and triggered over and over again and thereby we feed that shadow we feed that um, identity of feeling bad of being a victim and um, and we also feed the shadow of the person that brought on that that triggered it within us we make that stronger too when we feel as a victim that's very important to, to understand how this works because that's how we can wake up to it that's how we can meet it consciously is when we understand how it works and then it's like a it's like doing a workshop it's doing a practice you know but it's not a practice just for mm, practice sake let's say well I would say a practice is give it to earth for me this is in that sense not a practice it's really understanding how it works and thereby I can also feel I can't give this away to mother earth because it's mine and it wants to come back home to me and when I when I bring that which is in the false identity back home to me it it's just neutral energy and that's how mother earth you know I'm a part of mother earth you know that's how it gets um, transmuted because if I just say okay I'm just gonna give this to mother earth it's still gonna be there it's kind of like a cop-out um, And, and what, what I'm also getting now is that maybe people who, who do it that way, they actually 
can do that if it works they actually already have this understanding just maybe not with the with the image with with the um language that i use or how i explain it but they intrinsically have already transmuted it through their hearts and that's why it works when they give it to mother earth when they have that image instead of what i'm talking about now it still works because they still have received that energy they still are in neut divine neutrality toward that energy yes and then the last thing to do is to to in order to really really uh, make sure make sure that you have received every single last drop of it you know because it'll happen again as long as there's still charge this will happen again something like this will happen again yes the last uh, thing to do is to really see the whole thing for what it is we just did that feel it feel what's left and then go into this gratitude and we can't just say go into gratitude this only um gratitude only works when you're already on your way to it because all the other stepping stones have been taken like we just did and so now i can see and it's very important to not be in gratitude to that personal on a personal level you know again it's not about the personal level it's not about the person that perpetrated because if you're grateful you know if, if you're in in a relation on the level of the person you're you're the victim on that level because clearly that was throwing trash at someone you know that that was mean you know and um on that level for sure but that that level is the that level is the story um is the story of the the role playing through the egoic mind it's not who i am and because i can see and i'm coming from who i really am I see that story through a different lens, through a different perspective, a much broader perspective, and the story completely changes because it's not that about that person anymore and about that room, even though I can also uh, weave that into the story and also from that other perspective that I said, way in, how I said it way in the beginning, how I described it. Um, but it has, it, it plays the role as a... Um, sent from my own higher self to me just to receive back a part of me and therefore i can now this whole incident i can say oh thank you not thank you i'm not thanking anyone i can just go into gratitude about it oh good you know like thanking the universe or so you know um, in English language, is also always thank you. There's always this you there, um, you know. And for example, in German, it's just like thank, danke, thank. It's, it's, there's not the you in it. So it's like, okay, just go into gratitude. Uh, and it's not like you go into gratitude or that we can force ourselves to, to feel that, no but it is the natural um, procession, progression of where we fall into. And now I can already feel as I have now arrived in the field of full reception and gratitude. And there is humor in that too, like wink, wink, you know, you got it, you got it, you know, oh, you almost fell for it. Oh, come on for a second, you fell for it. <laughs> You were angry that it happened. Ah, oh, and now I can I can go into 
just into the gratitude of it. And I feel the cooling energy now rising and the cooling energy because the, the charge, when the charge is triggered, it's anger, you know, it's heat, it's hot. And, and the nervous system is really jittery and, oh, 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 this was horrible. Oh, like that, you know? And um, when the cooling energy comes, it's, it's, it's done, you know? So now I'm going to go sit um, with that and really feel the gratitude. Okay, 